Hey everyone. In this video, we're going to take a look at an interesting issue with BGP traffic engineering. Now, in this topology here, as you can see, we have two ASs. And the thing I just want to go over with you is both of these ASs are running a full mesh of I, I BGP peerings. And actually, all six of the routers are within the same OSPF network. Um, so if I go to router six, and I show IP route OSPF. We'll see all the, these are all the transport links between all the routers. Now I'm not advertising loopbacks, I'm just using OSPF for the transport. So the BGP part of this comes into play where router one has a loopback of one and router six has a loopback of sixes. All right, so these networks are being broadcast into BGP. Now we're gonna mostly take a look at router six, and what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at how it's reaching this um, loopback of R1. So R1 should be sending it here in two ways, which will come into AS200 in two different directions and reach router six in two different directions. So let's first take a look at R6, um, see how we're, we're learning it, check reachability, and then we'll do some traffic engineering. So first let's do a show IP BGP. Uh, we're gonna just begin at the word network to clean it up. And we can see we are learning this route in two different um, directions from router two and router three. So if we go back up, router two and router three. So since we're using OSPF as the underlay and everything's in OSPF, um, we have reachability directly to those interfaces. So we'll just confirm with a ping and we'll source it from our loopback and pings work. Awesome. So let's take another look at this and let's see how we're routing. We are currently preferring the path through R2. So what we want to do here is we're given a task where we need to um, configure the network so that we're going to prefer the path through R3 and we got to configure it from AS200. I'm sorry, AS100. We can't configure AS200. So the solution here is we're just going to do some AS path, path prepending. So looking again, we're preferring two right now. We want to prefer three. So that means with AS path prepending, we go to two and we basically pad the AS length right here. So we'll add a couple hundreds onto the AS path. Therefore, this is not as preferable and AS200 should prefer the link through three. So the configuration of that is pretty easy. Um, two, let's just say conf t, uh, route map, AS prepend permit 10. We're going to set the AS path prepend and I'm gonna add just a couple 100s, just a little bit of padding. And then now, router BGP 100, my neighbor for two is gonna be four. So we'll do neighbor 102404. Route map is my AS prepend out. All right, and I'm just gonna clear BGP um, Clear IP BGP soft out just to kind of move this along. So the result of this is that if we went down to four, uh, four now shows that the best route is through three. Therefore, it's not going to advertise this to six. So let's go down to six again. And sure enough, we could see that route through two, which is the route through four is through two, is no longer being advertised to six. And that means our next hop is three. So as far as we could tell, our traffic engineering has worked. 
Let's do the trace route to confirm that it has. So we'll trace, I'll source it from my loopback. I'm gonna do numeric just so that it doesn't do any lookups. And, well, it didn't work. So that's interesting. Even though we configured BGP, and we'll, we'll let's take a look at the show IP BGP 1.1.1.1 slash 32. We can clearly see that our next hop should be three and it's coming from 10.56.05. So it's coming from router five with the next hop of three. So our next hop is three and we're learning it from five. Okay, why then when we do the trace is the path going this way up to router one? Well, Let's take a look. So our next hop, 10.35.03. Let's do a show IP route for that address. Okay, and we can see now that the next hop is four. All right, so even though BGP is telling us the next hop is here, we need to recurse one step further and our next hop is actually four. And, you know, since four is out our gig zero four link, we also could have seen this if we did a show IP Seth for 1.1.1.1. It'll actually tell us here that our next hop is 10.46.04, even though the BGP route says it's three. So why the discrepancy? Well, the reason is, is let me do a show IP route OSPF. Um, you could see here that this 1045 link has a high cost of 11. Um, so this link here, 45, we have a high cost of 11. All right. And the other thing is this link from five to six we go back here. It's a directly connected link, so let me do a show IP OSPF interface brief. This gig05 link also has a cost of 10. Um, and actually, this is a cost of 10 as well. So before I get too deep in the weeds there, what I'm saying is that this link has an OSPF cost of 10. This link has an OSPF cost of 10. Therefore, to get to R3, we actually would go through one, two, three, as opposed to 10, 11 would be the total cost of this link. Or if we wanted to go from four to, you know, whatever. We're not, we're not gonna take either of these two paths is, is the, the, the point I'm trying to make here. We're gonna take the path from four because the total cost of the link would be three, four, five, instead of 11 this way. So basically what, you know, the moral of the story here is that when you're doing BGP traffic engineering, you need to pay attention to the IGP, which in this case is OSPF, because the way this network is set up, it doesn't matter what kind of, you know, um, AS path prepending. Maybe I could do some local. Maybe I could have done a local pref, and I could have done you know next hop self like like there. But the point being is that if I do AS pre AS prepending, look at the routing table, look at the BGP table, think that I'm good. But it turns out when I do the trace route, I'm not good because I need to pay attention to the IGB. So yeah, in this case, the better scenario. Um, if I was allowed to just configure AS200, would have just been maybe set the local pref here, uh, local underscore pref, excuse the illegible writing, and then set next top self, next top self down here. That way, router six would see that the next top was 10.56.0.5, which is this router and then preferred it that way. So again, 
something to keep in mind when you're doing BGP traffic engineering, pay attention to the IGB. Because at the end of the day, BGP does not do the final recursion. Um, the IGP is actually what does that final recursion. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this um, example interesting. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and we'll see you on the next one.